Hi, it's your super science teachers here with a little lesson on chemical reactions. I'm Miss Schaff. I'm Mrs. Christian. Hello. So today in class, we talked about how you can tell if two chemicals are reacting. There are five signs that a chemical reaction is taking place. What are they, Mrs. Christian? Production of an odor or smell. Change in temperature, it gets hotter or colder. A change in color. Bubbles form, showing the formation of a gas and the formation of a solid from two liquids. All right, so today we're gonna to concentrate on detecting a temperature change. We are gonna be doing two different experiments, mixing two different chemicals with water. And we're gonna use a handy dandy tem temperature probe here to see what is happening with the temperature. So our first reaction, and you can see that on your lab sheet, we have 50 milliliters of water, I already measured it out. We are gonna mix it with something called citric acid. Citric acid is used to preserve foods in canning. Also put it on apples so they don't turn brown. So we're gonna mix 50 grams of citric acid with 50 milliliters of water, and we're gonna stick the temperature probe in and see what happens. So while I'm measuring out, Mrs. Christian will get the temperature probe ready. We've gotta get closer, kids. Yep, so you can see. I also wanna ch show you this really cool graph. So you might notice that over here, just cut that out. This is the y-axis, kids. And on the y-axis, we've got the temperature in degrees Celsius from zero to 50. And on the x-axis, we've got the time in seconds from zero to 180 seconds there, okay? And we've got this temperature probe hooked into the computer. And it should go into the water ahead of time. put it yeah. into the water. Can you see that? Okay, I'm going to back up a little bit so you guys can see that all. And I have the 50 uh, grams of citric acid all ready to go. We're going to mix it in and watch what happens to temperature. Uh -huh. So what's our initial, t yep, we got to get it going. What's right. our initial temperature? I don't know, I can't see. And, okay, right about 22 degrees. All right, and in goes all that citric acid. I'll do a little stirring and we'll watch what happens over time. Ooh, wow, something big's happening. And we'll stir it for a little while, waiting for it to kind of level off. Should we sing the lab safety song? <laughs> no. No. I'm gonna pan to this. Ooh, going down again, maybe. It's starting to go back up. Mrs. All right, so I think we're pretty much done then. Right. All right. I don't know if you can see. Can we? But at that pause low it? point yep. there, that's about ten, about twelve degrees. Let's pause it and get ready for the second reaction. All right, is it recording? Mm -hmm. All right, for our second <laughs> chemical reaction, we are gonna use, again, 50 milliliters of water and 50 grams of something called calcium chloride. Calcium chloride is used to make, guess what? Dill pickles. It also is used in these things that you might put in your basement or a closet or a damp space to eliminate moisture. So let me get that reaction going and we'll watch what happens, okay? Same thing, 50 milliliters, and I'll measure out 50 grams. So close. Exactly. Woo! Mm -hmm. No. 50.1. All there. right, 50. all right. 50.1. Hold on a second, Mrs. Okay. Shaw. So we want to see what the initial temperature of the water is before we add can the you, chemical. Can you slide that? Slide it over a little more. Yeah, that's yep. better. Okay. We good? Maybe not so close. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Can't be perfect, kids. Here we go. So why don't we read the initial temperature? So right now, it's reading at about 22 degrees Celsius. Celsius. All right. In goes the calcium chloride all at once and a little stir 
stir, stir, stir. Whoa. Whoa. Grab. Whoa. Ooh, what else are we seeing, Mrs. Christian? Bubbles, kids. Woo. Bubbles. Two signs of reaction. Wow. Yeah. See that graph, kids? Whoa, look at it. And this is why we didn't want you to do Ooh, this. Ow, I just touched the beaker. It's actually really hot. No ow. kidding. It's <laughs> 90 degrees Celsius. Did you flash to flash to the reaction? It is hot. Kids, remember boiling in Celsius is 100 degrees Celsius? It's hot. <laughs> you can see from this graph, it went from 22 degrees, roughly room temperature, to, to 90. Right now, it's at 90 and climbing. To, that could be what the bubbles are, boiling water, actually. Alrighty, very hot. I can feel the heat coming right off of it. We are measuring it with the temperature probe. Wow. Oh, it looks like most of the calcium is not even all dissolved yet. So are we calling the high temperature here? What is it? 90. 90. Okay, you should be 90 degrees Celsius. It should be written on your lab sheet now for experiment two.